What's going on guys? Jose here. We're going back out next morning. Yesterday we got that jumbo blackfin tuna. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure you do. And uh, we're going back out trying to see if we catch maybe another jumbo blackfin tuna. Maybe Mahi, Wahoo. Uh, we got my brother with me today behind the camera. So uh, hopefully we can catch some, uh, some nice fish today. So uh, we'll see you guys out there. Hey. Yeah? <laughs> you can't see nothing. Long morning, slow morning, but we're finally tight. Yeah, Marco's finally tight here on a fish here. Might be a bonita or a little tuna. I'm hoping a tuna. Yeah. Tuna. You sure? Oh yeah, 100 percent No, tuna. That's a bonita. No. Is it? That's a tuna. Yeah. Bonita. I told you that about five times now. Yeah, Woo! I got it too. Oh, baby. Open Woo! it up, open up the bell. The lever down, the lever. There you go. There you go, nice little black friend. Right now, hold it, Marco. Yeah. Right. Woo, look at that. Right, we're going back through there again, boys. Beautiful little black fin tuna. Woo, not as big as yesterday's, but hey, we'll take them. Tuna in the box. Look at the colors on this thing. Look, look at the fins on this guy. Yeah, they're short and stocky. <laughs> yeah, short and stocky. Right, he's like from that. Those things are like the Energizer Bunny on crack. Nope. Back up a little bit so you can see him in the sun. He's still going. Look at that. Hold it right there. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's a nice fish. 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 Yeah, that's Marco's first tuna ever. Yes, sir. Not as big as the one we got yesterday, but hey, you know what? It'll do. It'll do, and it's beautiful, and it's going to turn into an amazing fish dinner. I'm going to name it Bubbles. You're going to name him Bubbles? Thank you. Are you going to give Bubbles a kiss be you know, before he goes to his final resting place? There we go. Doing it for Bubbles. All right, yes. we're going to bleed this guy. We get the lines back in. And uh, can't be saying we got marks out here, so we're gonna try and catch another one of those rascals. Oh, oh he's running! Wow, dude, he's running hard. I would like to reel this one in. Oh yeah, you can get that. There we go, little tuna. Flip him on in. Oh, there you go. That was like what, ten minutes? Guys, we can't get the lines in fast enough. Literally. You got hit! Oh, double, 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 double on tunas! Yeah, baby! Woo! Got them all! Double on tunas, baby! They are chewing. Okay, that up on a little bit. All right, all right. I just, I just cranked, put this line out, and I gotta pull it back in already. alvisa has got one. Marco's got one. It is uh, tuna mayhem. Oh, just lost one. No, did you really? Oh, look at them all! They're all looking birds back there. Drop that thing back. Take it easy, Marco. We won't lose both of them. Yeah. yeah. We got one. That's get that one in. That's fine. Marco, we're gonna turn you towards the fish, so get ready to real quick, okay? Alright. I wanna get back on the fish quick. Keep going, Marco. There he is, skipping right there. Is that really a bonita? No, that's a tuna. These guys are on a fish too. Oh, is he really a bonita? Yeah, give me that, give me that quick. Let go, let go. I got, I got, I got, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, and what is this shit, man? We hook up and boom, four boats right around us. This is ridiculous. Welcome to fishing the weekend. Was it a bonita or a little tuna? He's probably got bonitas too. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Well, all right. The old guys are hooked up too. Yeah, we see that. Keep letting yours out, Jose. We're what? gonna we're gonna do a pass while they're hooked up, and we're gonna get the beneath uh, the tuna. Let's keep this one out of the water. Keep the planer in the water. Right, put this uh, yeah. Let me do that. Here. I got it. I got it. Oh, the old guy's just hooked up. Yeah. Yeah, got him on! Yeah, there he is. 
see if I can pop one. They're hooked up over there. Those guys are hooked up. Oh, he lost it. Oh, run again, run again. Screamer, screamer. Double, Jose, double. Oh, double, double, double. Double, double. The tuna are chewing. Hey, Marco's got a Yeah, baby. Woo! Woo! Got him on. Oh, that's a big one, too. Marco's still getting dumped. Is, is he really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah, Marco, just keep your chip high. Marco's still getting dumped. Marco's still getting dumped. Marco's still getting dumped. Marco's got a good one. Shit, Marco's man. Marco's got a good one. And Marco's getting dumped right here. I don't think mine's as big, but Marco's getting dumped. Hold on, where am I going? Oh, <laughs> really? Guys, this is tuna mayhem. Florida style. Working on it. I'm not going to horse this fish in. Yeah, no kidding, he does. This is a good ways back, too. Oh, I feel him now. This is starting to feel a little bit like the old Keys days. Yeah. Fishing a hump. Get two on at a time, man. Yeah, every single pass. All the rods are going off. Keep your rod up high, Marco. You're doing great, buddy. Jose, I think yours is coming in first. I think so, too. Marco got dumped. Yeah, he did. I hope they're tuna. That's a, hey, that's a decent sized little fish there. I hope they're tuna. Come on, Jose. Get yours in. We need you. Hold on. That's a tuna. That's no bobo. Marcos is ready. Grab Marcos first, I'll take care of mine. Nice tuna. nice tuna. Woo! I got a bigger one. Do you? Yeah, dude, this one's heavy. You want me to grab him? Uh, okay, maybe not as big. Yeah, you can grab him. Woo! -hoo! Tuna mayhem, baby! Nice. Let's Get back go! Alright, we're. Get back on. Woo! Look at that! Mess of tuna, guys. All right, we're gonna get the lines back out quick because the people in the tuna are out. We got a mess of tuna, guys. Double hundred tunas. Get over here, you rascals. They're flip flopping all over the place. Double hitter on tunas. We got two more in the box. And we're doing another pass by here soon. Full of pinky wars. Well, idiots, you know what? We're catching fish and they're not. So uh, we're going to bleed these guys and try to keep the action pumping. Guys, look at the commotion that we started. There are one, two, three, four, five, six boats all in that same area. We were catching tuna. So we're going to see if we can keep on the tuna bite here. Hopefully these boats don't scare them all. But uh, if we can't, then we'll keep going wahoo trolling. The birds are around, they're squawking. Oh yeah, look at them all. Look at them all. Hopefully, that means the tuna are right back there behind our lures. Man, look at all those birds. Oh yeah. All right behind the back of the boat here. Come on. Give us more double headers, please. One more double. Yeah, one more double header and we limit out. Yeah, just one more double, maybe even a triple. Throw in a wahoo there. Yeah. 30 pound wahoo, two Oh yeah, come on. Double, 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 double. Yeah, baby. Oh, he's smoking me. I'm getting smoked. Nice fish, Jose. Woo! This is a big one, guys. This is a big one. This is a nice one. We literally just got off the phone with Chad. Today we got Jose, brother Marco on the reel, working hard, double team with the two minutes. Oh, come on, I feel him, the tap tap. What do you say, Marco? Well, I think he's got the big one this time. He's got the yeah. big one this time. <laughs> okay. Out here is the Alamrata hump today. Hell, man, you'd you think, you think it's the Alamrata hump with how many uh, tuna there are and birds out. Real snotty this morning but it laid out to be nice. Dude look at all those birds right there. Oh, shit. Now we got some fish so very nice. 
Woo! Doing some meat fishing. Where you at, Marco? You close? Looks like you're close. Yeah, Marco's pretty close. I'm still a good bit out. Oh yeah, another tuna, baby. Another tuna. Nice. Skipper. Woo, look at that tuna. Nice. Very nice. Nice football sized tunas. Good work, Marco. Good work. There he is, he's skipping. Tuna. Oh, he just dug back in there. Can you flip him, Jose? Oh yeah. Don't lose him on a flip now. He ain't done. Woo! Woo! In the boat. That's a limited tuna. Give me some. Good work, boys. Woo! All right. These are fish number five and six. So there's a new limit on blackfin tuna. So you're only allowed two per person now and ten per boat. So we got six tuna now, we got three people. Give them over here, you rascal. We got two per person now, so even though the tuna are still busting like crazy over there, we're gonna follow the law, we're only gonna keep the six that we have, and uh, we're gonna go and see if we can catch Wahoo or maybe Mahi to join these tuna. So all right, so we put out the little tuna lures just to catch more real, tuna real, real. for shits and giggles and uh, was on the phone with the captain and Marco got hooked up once again. Whacked me in the side of the head. <laughs> yeah, he whacked him in the head. Oh man, this is mayhem. No, it's a tuna. Nice tuna. You got him? Well, we'll release him. Just release him, that's all. There we go. Nice little tuna. So we got our limit here, guys. We're going to pull this one back. Now let them go, let them grow. Beautiful colors, look at that. Beautiful colors. All right guys, unfortunately we didn't catch anything else trolling today, but we got a whole mess of black tuna. That was like absolutely crazy. It was that was a lot of fun. So we're gonna flay these guys up. We'll see you guys in the kitchen. What do we got here, Cappy? Beautiful blackfin medallions. Yeah, so this tuna was from the one that we caught yesterday, that big jumbo one. So if you guys haven't watched that video, make sure you guys do so. The link will be in the description below. And um, <clears throat> but we're also gonna cook some of the fish from um, today's you know the tuna we got today and then I'll make a catch and cook video or a cooking segment for uh, today's video probably tomorrow so we're all messed up in terms of time order but we'll make it happen too much fish too many fish in like two consecutive days so too never happens fish, too little time yeah I mean hey that's not a bad problem though I mean dude look at the size of those chunks I know mm -hmm. those are thick ones those are really are. These are the loins. So these were all going long ways, and I yeah. I turned it like a sausage and cut it like that. Oh, okay. That's why they're like rolls. Yeah. yeah. Looks but you nice. can see the fat content in them. All the white in there, that's oh, yeah. all fat. See, that piece has it's more fat than in. that one. Really? Yeah, you can see it. Yeah. Huh. That's really interesting. I didn't know that. All right. So we got the tuna from yesterday, all covered in sesame seeds, ready to go. Bobby's special pico de gallo. I don't know what you're gonna do with it, but we're gonna find out. We got rice that we're gonna throw into the microwave in a little bit. Got some more tuna and some mahi he got the other day. And uh, some interesting concoction that we're gonna call salad dressing. So we're gonna see how it turns out. Bobby's whipping his stuff up. Yeah, right on Ooh, that. That, that looks good. good. That looks really nice. Not bad, Bobby. It smells pretty good. Yeah, it really does. Doing it in record time, too. All right, yeah, I gotta flip mine. Alright, I don't need these anymore. Oh, that looks good. Oh, yeah. Bye.
Bobby, how was it, the mahi? Very good. It's good? Oh, yeah. I'm going to try it right now. Mm -hmm. My plate looks absolutely beautiful. Oh, our plate is a All right, guys, so we just finished up the dinner. Absolutely amazing. Better than anything you can buy in a restaurant, guarantee it. So now what we're going to do, we got some of the fillets from today, plus some of the fillets uh, from yesterday from the Big Mondo tuna. And so what we're going to do, we're going to vacuum seal them because, um, you know, the whole coronavirus, you know, people stocking up on food, you never know how long you're going to be quarantined for it. So it's good to have food in the freezer, but, you know, you don't want to freeze fish just straight up like in a bag, you know, it, it's going to ruin the consistency and whatnot. So when you vacuum seal it, it uh, and then you freeze it, it makes it consistency, keeps the consistency a lot more. So. We're gonna do, we're gonna put them all in a vacuum seal bag, so the vacuum seal machine, and then... Normal black bin versus the big Yeah, bin. so guys, <laughs> th these are, this is the fillets from today. Oh, we should have cut out that blood line, but... Yeah, that's fine, it's a little bit. And then here's the the chunk from yesterday. That's get a, a get a good size comparison on that. Look at that. Yesterday, <laughs> today's versus yesterday's jumbo. I mean, insane That's one size. fat boy. Oh yeah. So we're gonna vacuum seal these guys up and take them home. Wooden tight. Wooden tight, hey. And make sure you gotta always put 409 on the fish coronavirus out there. Oh, make yeah. sure your fish is bleached. That's extra seasoning. We got all my tuna vacuum sealed, put in my little cooler. Now we're gonna put all of Alvisa's tuna in here. Alright guys, here's the haul of tuna from yesterday and today, the entire weekend. Vacuum sealed and ready to go in the freezer. Not including the pieces that we ate today and the pieces we gave to Peyton yesterday. Look at that. Those are six individual dinners <laughs> that we put together as one. Oh yeah. We had enough food for weeks right here and just fished alone. Very blessed to have the ocean's ocean provide us in this time of need. Yeah, we really are. We were talking about it on Friday, debating going fishing this weekend. So, you know, we need to go meat fishing. Then, lo and behold, we put some meat in the freezer. All right, guys. With that said, really hope you guys enjoyed today and yesterday's video. If you haven't watched it already, I've probably said it about five times now. But, um, probably six. Maybe even seven. <laughs> but it's been a great weekend. been a fun, awesome weekend of fishing. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. So, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel, and stick around and I'll see you guys next time. So you want to be a long fisherman.